Hi everyone. <laughs> hi, hi Macro, how are you? How are you? I'm good, thank you. I hope you're also doing well. Um, I want to just say, trigger warning, first off, we're going to talk about some very heavy topics today. Um, I was debating whether or not I should even do a stream discussing all of these. Naked winter, damn cold proof. <laughs> Actually, I'm quite freezing. I don't know if you can see my breath. Uh, <laughs> I'm breathing and it's like cold. It's cold as heck. But, you know, it's all good. <laughs> you know? I look sexy. I'm a sexy beast. <laughs> but today we're going to be covering some topics uh, that I know are some serious ones. Like, you know, VTuber scammers. Um... The the rant I went on on Twitter, apparently, people aren't happy with me right now. Uh, I'm going to get into all of that today. So, uh, and then we'll play games. I just want to get this more heavy topic out of the way so I don't have to worry about it, you know, don't have it laying on me later. Um, so the first topic I want to discuss is my own issues that people have with me at the moment. So people aren't exactly happy with me <laughs> right now. And I can see that, and um, I'll explain a little bit uh, now. I made a tweet saying I'm kind of low-key losing some motivation, saying uh, I don't really like, I don't hyper-fixate on numbers. I have view count turned off, so I don't see it <laughs> when I'm streaming, because that can be a huge um, factor in mood and stuff. It can really deplenish things. But, uh, when Twitch constantly reminds me, hey, you're doing this better than last stream, or you're doing this, it's kind of hard, and I can't really turn those off as far as I know, or I don't know how to. Um, but I made a tweet, uh, mentioning, I know that people aren't happy with me right now, because I get constant complaints that there's a lot of ads, and, um, all of that. I'm just gonna move down here a little bit. Um, <laughs> um... Basically, I just want to say I thank you guys for those who support me through everything. Streaming at the moment is my full-time job, and it can be really, really tough being an indie VTuber with no help, really, like with big projects and stuff. But I understand the frustration of ads. I get it. Ads are fucking annoying. Trust me, I know. But I always remind people, you never have to give subs or subscribe or give bits. I never expect you guys to. And when you do, I thank you because it helps me out a lot and produce better content. And it's helping me out a shit ton. Um, I've been doing VTubing for a little, what, a little over a year now. Almost a full year and a half now, which is kind of insane to me. I won't lie. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like it at all. <laughs> Um, it's been a journey. I've, uh, learned a lot of things over time and things I wish I would have known earlier, um, which I'll go into later a little more in detail about. Um, <laughs> but I want to say thank you for those who continue to support me. I've got a lot of people saying I'm not watching your streams anymore because there's too many ads. That's totally fine. Listen, I get it. Ads can be annoying, but I remind people, hey, if you have like, if you have Amazon Prime, you get a free sub every month. And if you enjoy my content and want to help support me, then you can use that Prime sub for a free subscription and get a bunch of free perks with it. Like, it's it's just kind of like, I know it's a touchy subject, and I know that's why my, like, my view count has been kind of dropping and why people are angry with me right now. I'm going to explain, like, as I said before, VTubing right now and streaming is my full-time job. This is how I make my revenue, and if it weren't for ads, I would never reach the $50 payout threshold. So, ads are kind of a must when trying to survive. Um, I barely make the $50 payout threshold even with ads. 
But I want to say for those who do support me, thank you for sticking with me during this journey. And for those who leave, you're welcome to leave. Good riddance if you can't handle a few ads to support a streamer who streams for hours and hours on end uh, to provide content for you for free. Um, <laughs> heaven forbid I ask for you to watch a few ads. I, I get it though. I understand. Ads can be frustrating and annoying. But, alas, uh, people are angry with me over that tweet. It's just really demotivating when I get DMs from people. Um, yeah, it can be really disheartening when I see that. I appreciate those who stick around, those who lurk, those who are here for me. I really appreciate you guys for everything that you guys do. Um, and I'm sorry for anyone who I've upset over my maybe a little bit too harsh of a tweet. So I do apologize. Um, yeah, people are very mad at me. <laughs> and I get it. I understand completely. Um, and I just, I didn't expect angry comments on you, to be honest. Dude, I get them all the time. Like, even if you don't see them, like, on stream, they're in DMs or whatever. And I'm not going to, like, post them or out them because I'm not trying to be a drama queen or anything. But, um... But yeah, flawless stream for me. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you. Um, but yeah, it's can, it can be really dismotivating when I get a lot of people kind of piggybacking on the fact that um, ads are too much. Uh, no problem. I haven't seen the post yet, but I understand that yeah, ads do be a touchy thing. Yeah. And again, as a smaller VTuber creator on the internet, I only make my funds pretty much like to the revenue point, uh, barely at that sometimes uh, through ads. And I know it's a touchy subject. I know it's been kind of circling around on the Twitter lately. Um, <laughs> I know that topic has been, mm, how do I word it, touchy to be the least. Um, and I know a lot of people are angry about a lot of that kind of thing. But again, I do appreciate you guys for continuing to be here and supporting me. Again, I am... But a simple creator who works really fucking hard. I worked so fucking hard to get where I am. And it can be really dismotivating when I see that kind of thing. But honestly, if you leave because you can't handle watching a few ads to support me and doing this uh, full time, then good riddance, in my opinion. Like, you don't have to be here. You don't have to support me. But I always... Uh, make sure to remind you guys it means the world to me when you guys support me and help me out and even take time out of your busy lives to just come watch a silly crackhead anime girl on the internet and um you know I'm trying not to cry right now oh my god um I work really hard and I feel like I I, I say that all the time I really do even if you guys don't see it, trust me, I work really hard. I plan things like months and months in advance for big projects and things. And doing it all solo can be really fucking hard. And, um, yeah. Um, it can be really disheartening when stuff like that comes up. Thank you for the head pats. Um, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. It can be really hard sometimes. I won't lie. Like... My winter thon is coming up, and I've been planning this for so long. I've had artists quit on me because they can't finish the project in time, which I totally understand. I get it, and that might have changed the plans a little bit. Um, <laughs> that changed the plans a lot, in fact, but it's okay. Like, I'm not mad. I'm not upset. <sighs> like, I'm going to make it work still, even if things don't go as planned. Um, I get it things happen. Um, but I am very excited for the winter salon to happen. For you guys to see all the amazing things I was able to get done for you guys. There's a lot still in the works and we're on a very short deadline. I know people are mad at me because I'm tweeting a lot about the, the winter solstice SMP asking people for help. And I even got a DM from someone whom I won't name or expose quote unquote. Um, but they said that, um, it's unfair that I'm asking for help in all of these perks that only subscribers would have and providing for free for anyone. But the fact is I'm asking others for help because right now this is a very big project that I'm working on. 
with uh, only a very limited amount of people helping. So far, Munich are the ones. Mystic has done so fucking much. Like, I feel bad I didn't pay him for all the work he's done. He's amazing, and I really appreciate everything. Um, the VTuber SMP was kind of like a spur of the moment thing I wanted to do for ages, but I finally decided to do. I have currently uh, three SMPs open, three Minecraft worlds, uh, two I'm paying for with Realms, and one I'm paying for in a totally another service, which is for Java. I wanted to make uh, versions so those who don't have, like, say, uh, Java can play on Bedrock and vice versa or whatever, but I, I do appreciate those who um, understand. As long as you believe in it, everything you imagine will happen. <laughs> oh, cute. Hi, Stinky. Hi, Sunny. <laughs> but yeah, it's really hard um, trying to build this whole world and make it immersive and plan all this stuff with Mystic. I do have a few server builders. Some of them who haven't been on the server yet due to life. I totally understand life gets busy, but we are on kind of a deadline and I'm trying to reach out to people to get more people who are interested in helping build. And I posted that tweet uh, that I made as like, hey, if you help me out, you will get all these perks and I really do appreciate your help. And um, I'm working on building an entire fucking website for um, the further support because I'm going to be honest, like like I said, I do this full time. I, um, uh, sorry, I'm going to reach out real quick. You got this, Vita, pat, pat, pat. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Raccoon. Uh, currently not paying attention to Twitter that much after the X invasion uh, or whatever, but I can help you at whatever you need. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, honestly... <laughs> Can we be honest real quick? Like, uh, Twitter is kind of a cesspool or X or whatever the fuck you want to call it. I'm sorry. Um, fuck X. <laughs> or Twitter or whatever. You know what? Like, fuck that shit. Like, I post on there because I have followers there and I post on all my, like, my main platforms to announce I'm going live and stuff. Or at least I try to. But seriously, the people on there are, um, Giving, I'm losing more brain cells. I already have a brain disease, okay? I don't have much to begin with. <laughs> I don't have much to begin with. And not like, I know I'm going to get hate. Oh, you're, 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 you're hating on Twitter. Blah, 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 blah. Fuck you. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Uh, respectfully, fuck you. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, um. Yeah, I started to post everything on Insta since it kind of have everything. I I have an Instagram account. I saw that they have, like, what is it? What did they call it? Their version of, like, quote-unquote Twitter? What is it called? Like, Instagram, not Reels. What is it called? Threads. Threads, that's what it is. Yeah, Threads. <laughs> Instagram Threads. That's what they called it, yeah. But, yeah, I know they made that, which, heck, I might start swapping over to at this point. Like, I'm kind of getting tired of it, you know? And it's, it's like, ugh. And it's, it's also really disheartening when, like, I understand that not everyone sees my tweets or posts or whatever. Um, <laughs> um, but, like, when I ask for, like, feedback, hey, what do you guys want to see more of? And then, you know, seeing people like it and then just, like, moving on. Like, I feel like no one ever really reads my posts, per se. I'm saying everyone, but not trying to, like, blame everyone. But, like, I know most people just like and move on. Whatever, right? Okay. But, like, when I ask for feedback, like, what do you guys want me to make more content of? What do you guys enjoy? Do you enjoy me playing Minecraft, which is going to be a lot in December? We're going to play a lot of it due to the Winter Solstice SMP. Uh, do you guys like that kind of content? Do you want me to do more reactions? Blah, blah, blah. Really, no one ever really replies. So it can be really hard to, because I want to make content that you guys enjoy and that I also enjoy. So I'm always open to, like, you know, um like suggestions sounds like a super large project if too much at once could try shrink it down a piece and slowly grow it from there we'll save time and make it more uh manageable cost by the way if i'm out of place or be online do let me know as i don't know the full scope i totally appreciate that and yes you are right uh we did have to make some changes so some of the the bigger events are going to be on hold that I was trying to that I was trying to plan. Uh, so a lot of it is kind of being on hold. Uh, I did message the current builders that are helping out and told them I made a whole Discord server just for the uh, SMP. 
that's still really heavily under construction as I didn't want it to be kind of too mashed in with my main server for Discord. Uh, I will like publicly announce it once it's kind of more put together. I'm still trying to figure out. Listen, I'm a Discord noob. I don't know how fucking bots for Discord work or how to set up roles and shit. I like, <laughs> it feels so bad. I'm literally relying so much on this thing because I'm like, I don't know how to do this. I watch a YouTube tutorial. I don't understand it. This is like a foreign language. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah tell me about it Mina I've been grinding too when I'm not playing games with friends or vibing in BC I'm either job hunting or working in D and D stuff I know it can be really hard and like you know getting hate and stuff can be kind of dismotivating or you know just seeing like the drop and stuff it can be really hard like I I know like I tell this to everyone who's just starting out on their journey or even uh those who are willing to like listen to me on their journey have already started blah 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 like there's so many things I wish I would have known as like uh, a starting VTuber like before I started so many things I wish I would have known beforehand like when I first started I saw the numbers blow up because I got lucky over a stupid tweet and that's the only reason I have the following I do today don't get me wrong I'm very thankful for that like that really helped me uh, further advance and get to meet so many amazing people like you guys so thank you um but it can be very disheartening seeing things like that drop and um you know especially when this is like full time it can be really hard trying not to look at the numbers i made like a rule to myself that i would turn off the view count numbers and i do uh when i stream um i turn those off i don't look at them i i don't pay attention to them but for the sake of uh review and uh growing it can also be like very important to look at those things but like it's kind of like a double-sided coin i'm just going to do two but youtube's the way for bro no for real <laughs> for real though youtube has helped me out so fucking much youtube has saved me more times than i care to admit with like figuring shit out like the whole website i'm building bro <laughs> youtube youtube is safe <laughs> um trying to figure out the mods for like the npcs dude i'm the only one who managed to figure it out and they asked how did you figure it out youtube <laughs> YouTube, um, I'm constantly researching ways to improve streams on YouTube, constantly looking, uh, on YouTube for, like, ideas, uh, for content, games that are popular, things like that, things I might be interested in streaming, things like that, I'm constantly looking up new things and saving it and, and watching it and, and applying it and all these kinds of things, um, so yeah, it's like, again, like, I, I do so much research to try and improve as best I can because I want to make content that both I'm proud of and that you guys will enjoy uh so I do really really fucking hard on what I do um you make a rule for myself that's where I was I made a rule for myself for like the sake of growing and like um further improving my content and to see what works and what doesn't work every month at the end of every month I do a review of uh through twitch tracker which if you guys don't know is such a fucking handy tool i would highly recommend it to anyone who streams um it's amazing it really breaks everything down bit by bit and you can see what games do better like um like what got you the most follows the most views concurrent viewers it really breaks everything down bit by bit for you and it's so fucking helpful and I can't recommend that site enough. Although, um, it can also be a double-edged sword because I know I've recommended it to someone else who I won't name. Um, and they went about it the wrong way. And there is a feature on that where you can compare, uh, your progress to someone else. And I would never recommend messing with it because that's what they did. And they got really mad at me because I was supposedly doing better than them. And they took that a completely other way when I was trying to help them out so um yeah it's called twitch tracker I highly recommend this site to anyone but again please like I beg of you don't like take it the wrong way
Don't use it for like a way to compare yourself to others because that's only going to hurt you in the long run. And this person who I ha won't name, who I recommend it to, took it the wrong way and got angry at me because I was so-called doing better than them. And that is not at all what I intended uh, them to use it for. I said this is such a helpful uh, tracker app. I've been using it. Uh, I know Twitch has kind of like sort of stepped up their game a little bit with breaking it down, but the site really, really, really breaks it down for you, like bit by bit. But um, yeah. I use Twitch tracker and compare to Mina writes it down. No, 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 no. Don't worry, don't, don't, don't do that. I would never recommend that you guys do that. Um. But again, it's public, so keep that in mind. If you do look up my shit, you guys can see it bit by bit broken down for you, and you can see any streamer's thing. But like, again, be careful with it, because it can kill motivation again as well. Other days on my channel was kind of looking into people's gig, but just made me depressed or over time. So I just keep myself happy with my own achievements instead of comparing. Exactly, and I tell that to everybody. Like, when I recommend something like this, please don't like take it as like comparison thing. And that's also um, why I stop collabing with certain people because uh, I won't name these people for you know respect. I respect them still. Like, but again, like when you're only wanting to collab or be my friend for your own benefit, for like views or whatever, it mm, <laughs> um don't do that. Don't do that, please. Um, it's just, I, I find it really helpful for me personally. I'm just trying to share it with you guys. Again, what you do with it is up to you. Um, but, um, but yeah, essentially, like, again, it's helped me out a lot with my end of month reviews. Every month I review everything that happened, what does good and what doesn't. So I'm like, oh, no worries, Zafer. It's all good. Thank you for being here. Um, and there's so many things like that, like, that I've learned over time. Like, I wish I would have known that site when I first started. I really wish I did. And, like, I realized, you know, through this is really helpful. I should probably make a whole, like, would you guys be interested if I made, like, a YouTube video uh, for helpful tools for people who are starting out streaming? Or, you know, just tools in general for those who even are streaming and don't know about these tools. For, like, VTubers or otherwise, because I have a whole list of them. You know, I was thinking about doing a video like that. I know, like, I'm really behind on YouTube videos. That's another thing. Um, again, like I said, I am a solo VTuber independent. Uh, I am really behind on editing YouTube videos. It can be really hard with time management, uh, especially with streaming so much and then trying to edit immediately afterwards. Sometimes videos just don't happen, and I can't afford to get an editor, which really, really is tough. Um, but uh, there won't be like VODs also I'm like really behind on uploading VODs to my Twitch channel uh Twitch VOD channel but um again it's 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 kind of difficult especially with making thumbnails by yourself editing by yourself and it can be kind of tough sometimes um and I'm still trying to I've kind of given up a little bit at this point with uh trying to edit the uh playthrough of me playing uh Chaos Head or not Chaos Head, Chaos Child, and posting on YouTube because they have flagged me several times for it. They won't let me upload it, even if I censor the fuck out of the gore and dead bodies. I'm surprised, like, there's much more gory things I've seen out there, but even editing it out, it seems to be an issue uh, for YouTube, so. And YouTube's not happy with me at the moment. I had to go through this whole workshop with them over a link for merch because I put my docky pillow merch on uh, the description and they threw a fit. They weren't happy with me and they made me take a whole shop work class explaining what is allowed and what isn't even though it falls within their own rules because it's a form of artistic uh, measure of like I get it like the the site has some lewd and nudity but again it's art art it's art and it falls within their uh, usage rights for links. But um, still, I put an appeal in. Of, so, and I removed all the links from anything regarding to YouTube. Uh, so YouTube's pissed at me right now. So I'm kind of like, again, that's also kind of killed some motivation of uploading. And um, yeah, <laughs> they've like taken down some of my like most popular videos that were, you know, not earning me revenue because I'm not 
I'm affiliated with YouTube. I don't make money from YouTube uh, as I haven't reached that amount of followers or whatever that's required. But um, yeah. Uh, now that we've kind of just gone over all that stuff, I'm gonna talk about another thing that people are really mad about me with me over. Um, or like the things I tweeted about, which is VTuber scammers. Now, I'm not trying to target any particular person or artists. Uh, I won't be mentioning names when I say these things. I'm just uh, simply going off my own experience with things and explaining. Uh, I just wanted to talk about it because it's an ongoing issue within the VTubing sphere or even streaming sphere in general, especially towards VTubing. It's going to be more based off VTubing. I'm in VC. All right, I just wanted to talk about this first, if that's okay, and then I'll join you if you're okay with that. Is that okay with you? <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to be rude or anything. I just, I'm talking about some touchy subjects that I really want to get through and get over with, and then we'll, we can talk in VC and stuff. Um, if you want to discuss these issues, I just really want to get this kind of off my chest and out there. I'm sorry that's kind of ranting a lot, but these are very important subjects I feel like I should bring up. Um, but yes, I made a tweet on Twitter. Um, you know, there's been constant, like, there's been several cases where I have been scammed out of money, or lots of money, over thousands of dollars, uh, over artwork and stuff, and it's a common thing that happens, especially in VTubers, as being an indie VTuber, anyone can be a VTuber now, and the rise and demand of art and things have drastically and, uh, like, increased, so there are a lot of scammers out there. Um... For my one year anniversary, which was back in July, before July, before my one year, I had commissioned an artist on uh, on Fiverr. I made a tweet about this ages ago. Um, I commissioned them because I, I should have noticed it right away. Their prices were too good to be true, and I should have seen that as a red flag. But at the time, I was so excited uh, for my one year anniversary, I didn't take that into consideration. It was the art and the rig for a really good price, and usually, not all cases, that can be a huge red flag when choosing an artist. Um, you know, make sure that you guys choose one that you know has good reviews and that you guys can trust. I reached out to them, I paid them extra for toggles that I didn't receive and other things. I gave them a reference sheet that I made that you guys can see on my pins on my Twitter. Uh, my reference sheet, I gave them a photo of it and I got the sketch. I was really impressed by the sketch so I said it looks great. They said awesome, we're going to go ahead and remo uh, start the uh, coloring and rigging process now. I had told them in advance, listen, uh, I was hoping to use this for my one year but if that doesn't end up happening or isn't ready in time. Don't worry about it. I want you to take your time on this. Like, this is a huge deal for me. If you need more time, please request it, and I will automatically say yes. I'm not trying to, like, rush this process since it's meant to be a big deal. I paid them the extra toggles and the model and rig and stuff uh, all together, and that was quite a lot of money that I had earned uh, over time with working three jobs and also... Uh, from streaming and previous subathons at that time. Um, so I commissioned this artwork on uh, on Fiverr. Again, Fiverr can be kind of an iffy website um, if you don't know the artist itself or trust them. Um, but yeah, I commissioned this uh, model artwork. It looked great up until the coloring and rig. Um, the coloring I wasn't happy with, basically they were just like, okay, accept it, review it, and, uh, they, like, basically said, accept, uh, the delivery, and then, uh, test it out and let us know your thoughts. Eh. Well, essentially I didn't think of anything of it, and I did. And that's when I realized, holy fuck, this is not what I thought it was gonna look like. It didn't look right. The coloring was way off from the reference I gave them. It looked too plastic and shiny. It wasn't what I was thinking of at all. I, it wasn't close to the reference I gave them at all. So I was very uh, upset. And all the extra toggles that I had paid for were clearly added as like in the, if you go, if you guys know like a little bit about VTube Studio, if you go to Expressions uh, tab, you can actually add your own or whatever has been added to your model. Well, the toggle thing was there, but they didn't work. That was another issue. 
and I had paid extra for a uh, wave toggle for like uh, a toggle for my ears to go up and down, a toggle for my tail to wag. Uh, you know, I paid extra for this and like I also paid extra for like a controller to pop up, etc. And needless to say, I didn't receive any of these that I paid for. So I went back and I reached out and I said, hey, I have some issues. And I told them, listen, uh, if you guys could just fix the the rigging, at the very least, the arms weren't even connected at all. They still aren't underneath the alpha. They figured, well, you know, it's covered so I can do a shitty rib rigging job and get away with it. No, um, that doesn't excuse it. The eyes weren't rigged properly. They looked really bad. Um, I'm not trying to hate on the artwork or the artist or the rigger, but again, it's not at all what I wanted. And I, I had reached out to them very respectfully. And I said, listen, if you guys could just fix the rig and maybe even give me uh, a discount or like a refund, not even a discount, a refund for the extra toggles that I paid for that I didn't receive, that would be great. And I got blocked. And lost all of my money and I reached out to Fiverr support and they said there's nothing they can do since I already approved uh, said uh, commission that I put in so they scammed me knowingly and rushed it and I won't ever get that money back and I'm very sad about it I was just very disappointed by everything like I won't even lie all the pre-mades I even had in the past like pre-made models that I could customize were better than this one and I'm not trying to say that in a mean way to hate the artist or anything like but I'm just saying like I, I should have just gone to an artist that I knew and trust in the first place and that was a learning lesson for me and a huge one at that and I was very upset and um, I might have been very rude on Twitter and I know a lot of people aren't happy with me going on topic about that. Um, again, I, I sometimes I shit post and I rant so I do apologize. Um, but yeah, essentially that happened. That was the first case. I was very upset. I lost a shit ton of money because of that and it was very disheartening as that was supposed to be a really huge big deal. Uh, and then I got another model, and then I got this one, so, yeah, it's just, it's can be really fucking tough, and that's not the only case where this kind of thing has happened, um, I had commissioned someone else for artwork for merch, uh, even though my merch hasn't sold, I'm not trying to, like, you know, push it on anyone at all, but no one ever buys my merch. I, I'm the only one who has ever purchased my merch for giveaways and stuff like that. Your Patreon things when I had a Patreon tier for it. Um, but no one ever buys my merch. So I was kind of like giving up on like even producing merch at that point. So I thought, what if I produce something really high quality and like really good, like beautiful design, whatever, right? So that's when I commissioned somebody else for merch artwork that looked fucking amazing. Um, and the artwork they showed me work in progress of and, and then they ghosted me and I got blocked when I asked for it to, you know, be sent over the finished thing when it was done. I got blocked. And they stole my money. And that was another case. And it was really fucking horrible. And I was really sad. And at that point, I was ready to fucking give up on all merch sales and any new produced merch. That changed when uh, a friend of mine over on Instagram uh, made artwork that you guys see uh, in the rotator, that cute little uh, winter wolf. She made that artwork for me. It's absolutely adorable. I love it. And she said, I will allow you to do this for free. I'm doing this for free. Put it on merch. Because she knew about the situation. She felt bad. And I really do appreciate her putting work into it. And it's adorable. And I love it. But, um, yeah. There's so much art scamming out there, sadly. Just go to either ones I know or ones they personally love or do business with. Suck that that happened to you. Yeah, that really sucks, honestly. It's really tragic that that kind of thing happens. Another case. Uh, there's two more that I want to talk about. But there's other ones as well. Uh, the two recent ones that happened was, um, I decided there was a point where I was like, I want to support smaller artists, uh, who are starting out, and I had reached out to someone because I saw they had a big sale of emergency commissions to, uh, you know, get money quickly, and I really loved their cute little scuff emotes that they made, so I commissioned them.
I won't name who they are either, but I did uh, message them and commission them. I gave them all the information that of what I wanted, and they gave me a, a list of things I could choose from, as their pre I guess, or whatever, as examples. So I chose what I wanted, and I ordered a total of 12 of them. Uh, I circled what I wanted, I gave them references and everything, and then I immediately went to the payment process, and I said, hey, how do you take your payment? Do you go through PayPal? How do you do it? And they said, we take payment, I take payment through Western Union. At the time, I was like, what the fuck is that? Is this not a bank? Like, what? So I was like, um, I don't know how that works. Is that like an app or something? I've never used it before. I'm honestly, uh, confused on how this works. So you go, yeah, you can do it from the website, make an account, or do one from the app. So I did, and then, um, I said it was installing. They said, let me know when you need your inf my information. Um... <laughs> It was very interesting. I never had anyone use Western Union. I was like, what? Um, okay. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, they gave me their full name and their country and confirmed the price with me. And I said, yes. Um, and I didn't understand how this fucking app worked. I didn't understand. And I'm asking them for help. How does this app work? I'm going through all the options and it's asking for your address and personal information I would never ask of you. I'm very confused. Can you help me? Which they go and say, I think it's this option. I'm sorry, you think? What? <laughs> I'm like, so you don't even know how you get paid. You don't even know how the... They didn't even know how the app they're receiving payments on even worked. Huge red flag, yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I was like, um, and then I was like, and then I messaged them and I said, um, I'm going to be honest. I don't know if I trust this app. It doesn't seem legit. It's confusing to me. Is there any other way I can, like, offer payment? Like, do you have a PayPal or a Ko-Fi or any other way of payment methods? They go, um, no, this is the safest way for you and me to make sure I receive the payment and you receive your product. Okay. I asked, are you sure this is how you want it? Because I can't understand this app and you don't even know how it works yourself. That should have been a huge red flag where I just canceled it then. But I was determined so I had to look up a YouTube video of how the fuck to do it. Again, YouTube comes to the fucking rescue. So I give them their money and I get the tracking number and I send it to them. And um, yeah, so I pay them, again, quite a bit of money for 12 emotes. Even though it was on sale, it was still quite a bit of money. And um, yeah, so I pay them that same day. And, uh, they said, uh, give me some time until I get home and I will start working on your sketches. I said, I was just like, okay, no worries. Sure. And, uh, that was in, uh, October, the beginning of October. And then October 12th or October 5th, I messaged them. I said, or no, that was before October. That was the end of November. And then October 5th, I asked them, hey, any updates on the sketch? They go, hi. On October 12th, they reply. They go, hi, yes, I will send it to you tonight. So sorry for the late reply. Ah. <laughs> Literally, ah. I said, okay, no worries. Um, uh, It's fine. Uh, I'm, I'm going through some stuff anyways. I just wanted to check in regardless. They go, I hope you're doing okay now. And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. No worries. And then October 16, I reached out and I said, hey, I finally moved to my new place. I was wondering if I could see any work in progress pictures as you had said you would start and send them, but you haven't. And they said, hi, I'll send you the work in progress tonight. Sorry for the late reply. I said, it's okay, no worries. And then in mid-October, uh, October 25th, I reached out. I said, hey, I was wondering how the emails are coming along. No work in progress yet. No reply, ghosted. Uh, even though they read it. They could see that they read it. And then October 29th, I said, hey, I'm going to have to ask for a refund. I haven't heard anything from you, and regardless of paying you from the start. After many requests to see the work in progress, I got nothing, even though you said you would send it several times. You have not replied or sent any work in progress at all. I said, please send the full, the full amount of money that I paid you back to this account on PayPal. I will not... Re I will not accept any other platform or payment at this time. 
for the payment. I asked it for it back through PayPal, as that's what I use a lot of the time. And that even has its own issues. And I said, on October 31st, ghosted, read. I read, I messaged back on Halloween. I said, I haven't heard anything from you at all, even though you said you'd send work in progress again. And Halloween is today, as I had requested half of them to be regular and half of them to be Halloween emotes. Um... I said, I was hoping to have them before Halloween, but today is Halloween. And I was hoping to do the big reveal, but it appears that's not the case. Please send any work in progress pictures so I at least know you're actually working on it. I don't mean to be rude or anything, so I apologize if I'm coming across as such. I understand being busy and all, but it's been a whole month and I paid you the full amount the day I'd asked for the emo commissions. Even that had its own issues as you didn't understand how the platform of your own payment worked. I had to look it up. If it's possible for me to at least get my money for the two Halloween emotes refunded as Halloween is now today, or if I can at least change them out to my regular emotes of my normal model design, please let me know. I was trying to be lenient. On November 1st, they reply. They say, hi, sorry for not replying earlier, but since I'm not paying for Twitter Verify, I only have very few messages every day, and I keep having so many commissioners asking for updates too. So I have to turn to each one until I'm done with them all. I'm very, very sorry for that. Here's your work in progress. They sent me finally the sketches, and not even all of them are sketched. Yikes. Um, they look adorable, though. Here's a work in progress so far. I have decided to draw you some free ones as well as an apology. Now, I had said, thanks for letting me know. I had no clue there was a DM limit for non-verified accounts on Twitter. I apologize, but I appreciate you getting back to me. Red. Okay. Now, this... This, I don't know if it's actually true. I looked, I, I, I no longer pay for Twitter Verify myself. And I can DM people, no problem. I have no limit, no daily limit. So that was their first lie. I'm pretty sure that's a lie straight up. So I was kind of like a red flag. And, you know, um... We will emails exist exactly, and that that will be an issue we come along later on as I continue this. And I said on November 11th, hey, just checking in. Any further updates? Do you by any chance have any other way to communicate that isn't Twitter, such as Discord or even an email? As that way, you don't have many limitations on replies. Red. November 22nd. I finished some of them. I don't have them all done. There's still one box missing. Do you have a Discord? What did I just say? Yes. I said, yes, I do. This is my user. Feel free to add me and message me there as I can get consistent updates then. And I said, it looks great so far. They go, I will check it soon. On November 23rd, they finally replied with the finished emote saying, Hi, I finally finished the emotes. Would you like to receive it by email? So they did finish them, finally. And then I said, Yes, it looks amazing. I'm really impressed. Thank you so much. Here's my email. And then read, no reply, no email. November 27th, not sure if the email was ever sent. He, again, here's my email just for reference. And then yesterday I messaged them again saying, hey, may I know if you've ever sent the email, please and thank you. And today they replied, hi, very sorry for replying very late. My phone has been stolen last few days and I'm trying to make, I'm listen, I know English probably isn't their first language, so I'm trying to be respectful and try to make it make sense for you guys, because even I'm struggling to read this a little. Hi, sorry for replying, not replaying, uh, very late. My phone is, my phone has been stolen last few days. Couldn't afford new one to buy <laughs> that time, so I had try fix old PC, so I contact you. <laughs> Lost so much of my work, sadly. It's frowny face. <laughs> I'm gonna let that sink in for a moment. 
English. Oh my gosh. And I said, I'm so sorry to hear that. So the work is gone. I paid you. So I still do expect the emotes irregardless. They go, hopefully I'll have a copy of your sketch on my PC and I can deliver them if I have them. And I said, yes, please do. Here's my email once again. And please tell me when you send it because they can get buried. <sighs> So that's where we're at now. And it sounded like an excuse. Indeed. I got my phone stolen. Lost a lot of artwork. Mmm. I don't know. For the longest time Twitter didn't. But that's not too long ago. They did a post view limit. But that's post so Not sure about DMs. Exactly. That's why I'm just like okay. A lot of this seems like red flag material. And I should have realized it from the start. Again, I will take blame that I was so excited I didn't really think of the logistics of it as I wanted to support someone small. But um, yes. And why would they work on art on a phone if they don't have a if they have a PC for all that? Like, I don't know. I, I don't know. Like apparently their PC was broken, they fixed it. I don't know. It seemed very iffy. I'm not gonna name who this artist is or any of the artists or people I'm talking about out of respect. Or, uh, I don't want you guys, if you find out who they are, do not send hate to these people, please. Um, I'm just trying to bring awareness as this is a clear ongoing thing that is very common and is circulating around a lot. But yeah, essentially, that was my fault, essentially, for not seeing the red flags. I want to support small upcoming artists, but I'm going to be very cautious now. I have a list of my trusted artists who I will now only be referring to. I appreciate small artists who are legitimate, but there are a lot of scammers out there, so I will not be commissioning anyone outside of my trusted circle anymore. But there's one more case I did want to talk about that we I tweeted about today, as it's an ongoing thing as well. Uh, but it's been going on for a while. So, uh, I made a tweet, um, essentially saying, uh, back in early September, I had won a raffle for a free animated emote along with, there were three winners picked, and I was one of the three. And I was really happy. I was like, oh my gosh, I won a raffle. I don't really win things in my life. This is a huge fucking deal. I was so excited as it was so cute. And I was surprised I won anything. I wasn't expecting to. I just threw my luck in there. And I'm like, at that day, I tell you, I shit you not. I'm like, damn, maybe I have a good luck thing today. Maybe I should go like get a lottery ticket. Maybe, who knows, maybe I'll win. Um, I didn't. Spoiler alert. I... I didn't win the lottery. Oh, I didn't win! Uh, <laughs> but anyways, that's besides the point. Uh, so that was in early September for a Halloween uh, slash pumpkin emote that I won't, again, won't name the artist to. If you know, don't send these people hate. Again, I just want to bring awareness to it. And, um, yeah, essentially they had a lot going on. I get that. Life happens. But I had made a tweet kind of, uh, briefly describing things, which I'll read for you now. Please don't do a raffle or giveaway for something for free and then not carry through with it. I had won a raffle along with two other winners back in September for a free animated emote. I asked for a work in progress mid-October and they never even started it. Mm. Uh, they said that it could work on, uh, wait, they said they would work on it so it could be used for Thanksgiving and have it done on a weekend, in a weekend. Um, but it's now December, considering it started off back in, uh, early September. Hello, hello, new chatter, hello, hello, welcome on in to the stream, welcome. Uh, just a little trigger warning, I'm talking about some very touchy subjects like VTuber scammers. I'm just ex uh, explaining some of my own experience with and streaming a lot of scammers out there. So just a little warning for some heavier content that's a little more serious. I promise not all my streams are like this, but this is a serious topic that I felt was very, very important for me 
to cover as it's an ongoing um, issue within VTubing in general and even streaming in general. Um, it doesn't matter whether you're a VTuber or not. It happens so many times of those who get scammed out of artwork. And I want to uh, kind of describe some of my current um, issues going on. Uh, so again, I'm not trying, I'm not going to name any artists um, out of respect. I'm just sharing my own experiences and um, just trying to explain to you guys what's been going on and why my motivation's kind of been a little dead lately, but um, I'm trying my best to get through it. So thank you for being here. I appreciate you. I hope you stick around. And if you don't, that's totally cool too. Welcome on in. <laughs> Understood. I'm uh, down learning for what to look out for. Yeah, if you guys want, I will I will be posting uh, an edited VOD of all of this uh, on YouTube eventually. Uh, I have to clear out my phone because I edit I edit videos on my phone. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the person who edits videos on their phone because uh, I don't understand editing on computers. Because I'm big small brain. But that's okay. <laughs> learning. Um... But yeah, I do want to just touch on the subject. It's very important. So again, kind of going back to what I said, uh, I had won a raffle in early uh, September for a free animated email. And I made a tweet uh, kind of expressing my thoughts on things. And I'll go through what I said in that tweet. And I've been completely ghosted. They seem to have also done this to others. And it's a huge red flag. Especially when they're celebrating getting VGen verified. So for those who don't know, VGen is a, uh, a site where you can uh, commission people. And especially since uh, it's you have to be like verified to get even on the site. Or have like a code or something to invite uh, on the site. And all, there's very strict rules put in place. But this con like is a very big concern. Um, most would argue with me that it was free anyway, so just let it go. But that's not the point I'm trying to make here. I'm seemingly not the only person they have done this to, and the others are paying customers. Supposedly, that creates an even bigger issue here. Life happens, shit gets busy, I get it. Now, apparently, they had a few people who had paid them for uh, emotes in the past and have just basically, uh, I'll get into it a little bit now, but that's no excuse um, to ghost a paying client or even a potentially new one who entered a raffle. That only pushes them away. If you fucked up and you took on more than you can handle, to stop, I think the best course is, uh, this is my opinion, uh, stop any new commissions and get do ones done. Don't just say, sorry, I can't finish your emotes in a post red flag. So this person had made a post explaining that they just won't finish their emotes. And they paid for them. I don't know the full story, and I, it's not my issue to pry into. Uh, I don't know if they got a refund or not, but I really hope they did. But if you make a post on Twitter just saying, sorry, things have been crazy, I won't be able to finish your emotes, even though you paid me for them. Kind of a red flag. Uh, red flag right there, especially if you just post it with no context. Um, and that can be a huge issue, especially if they're paying for your artwork and you just don't finish it for whatever reason and just make a tweet about it. Like, I don't know the full story again, but from an outside perspective, that looks really fucking bad, especially what I'm experiencing with them right now, regardless of whether it was paid or not. I said I won't name the artist as I don't want them slandered with hate. But even if you know whom I'm talking about, please don't send hate over to them as this is just an awareness post. And then I had uh, retweeted, requoted what I said and said, I don't know if the others from the raffle have received their emotes either at all. I reached out to one of them to see if they had been delivered. But as I saw, a work of progress of them being, being posted. But I guess we will see. It would suck if I was the only one who didn't get theirs delivered. I won't speak for what I don't know about. 
for I, I hope anyone who paid for their emotes got a refund or but even that I'm unsure of so it's just not my business to pry into again bringing awareness to the situation and again if you know who I'm speaking of don't send hate to them being very clear on that further update that I got today uh later on a few minutes later the other winners have fully received their emotes and I was the only one who had it this is really sad and unfortunate that I'm now being ghosted by said artist that I didn't mention uh, the name of. I've given up hope to ever receive said emote, but I will not be commissioning this person, even if I had thought about it in the very start, as I have my trusted list of artists whom I know will always deliver and who do amazing artwork. If you'd be interested in me making an official post with said list to support amazing, hardworking, honest artists, please let me know and I'll definitely be more than happy to share. So again, that just kind of goes a little more into things. Going back to this raffle thing, it is really unfortunate that did happen and that I did kind of just get gypped like that while everyone else got their delivered artwork and I didn't. It can be a very unfortunate thing um, and I'm not trying to like out this person at all but a lot of people already know who I'm talking about as I've gotten DMs about it asking for more details and um, I made sure to tell them, hey listen, all the details are in the post I made. I won't go into any more details uh, about the artist or reveal who it is. If you know who it is, please don't send any hate as I would have no ill will towards this artist or any of the others I've talked my experience about. So again, I'm being very clear, don't send hate to these people. I want to spread positivity and love and not hate, but um, talking about this is imperative. I feel like it's so important because it's such a common phenomenon. No hate from me, just disappointment. So much potential, but such a waste. Yeah, and it's like, it's a common thing that keeps happening. I see it all the time, especially with a lot of people falling for the... Uh, GFX artist scams, that's so big, uh, and they're getting even more persistent. I've had uh, a lot of those people, uh, literally after I blocked them on Twitter saying, leave me alone, I don't want to commission you out of respect because you're a fake artist, to them then going all through all this effort to follow me on my Discord server, joining it, and then DMing me on Discord, and then going as far to find my Instagram. Like, bro, I said no. No means no. <laughs> like, what part of no do you not understand? <laughs> Are you stupid? <laughs> like, I swear, they really just, they get so, like, angry. And, you know, I know some people have fun trolling with them, but I just block them. But some of them are really persistent. I know a lot of people just eventually give in, and then they get scammed. And it's really unfortunate to see. And I know it's such a common thing all the time that I'm fucking seeing. And it's really, really sad and unfortunate. So I want to go over some of the red flags to look out for when um, commissioning someone. Um, I, I'm just, I'm not saying this is like, all red flags, like, or, like, not, like, I don't know, how do I word this? I'm just saying just beware of who you commission. Um, these are some tips I have to avoid getting scammed, more than likely. Uh, be careful who you commission, uh, like, on websites like Fiverr. Like I mentioned, I got scammed out of thousands of a model uh, on Fiverr and uh, a lot of that stuff. And I never got any of these money from any of these that I paid for back. And it's unfortunate that I've lost so much of my hard-working money and I'll never see it again. It's really sad. Um, just beware of the websites that you're ordering, uh you know, commissions on, uh, beware if they ask you to use a site that is, like, sketchy, like I mentioned, the Western Union, which is a banking app, they wanted me to go through all this shit with them, that's a red flag, like, beware of how they're asking you to do their payments, um, look for reviews, a lot of reviews, if they have any reviews, uh, or if it's on Twitter, check their account, uh, see if there's any, like, verified happy users who, like, commission this person. 
do your research on who you're commissioning. Please, please, please um, be careful. I understand there's a lot of small artists out there who deserve so much more, but just be very careful, especially when they're up and coming and new. So I, I really recommend that you guys be very careful with that. Make sure their art is legit because I know there's a lot of those GFX cameras out there or even those on Fiverr who steal other people's model art and post it as their own. Even taking corporate VTuber art and claiming it as theirs even though if you do your research, you can very easily find out they didn't do that artwork. I've come across this several times I've seen people even, I've seen someone even use my own model, my own 3D model reference as a sales point and I got them to take it down and I reported them and their shop got shut down. Be very aware of that because there are people out there who will steal your art. Be careful, you know. They literally, uh, I posted a reference of my 3D model. They literally stole my own reference and said that they created my model and they didn't. And that made me so mad because I had made my 3D model, that's my original design. I put so much hard work into that fucking model and they stole my art and claimed it as theirs and people have gotten scammed because they liked the artwork of my model and wanted to commission them and they got scammed. So be very aware of that. Be very careful, especially if they have uh, artwork uh, of other VTubers. Uh, make sure to, you know, do a reverse image search if you have to. That's the best way. I highly recommend that you guys look at reverse image searching as that can be a very big way to uh, reveal if it's really their artwork or not. A lot of the times, um, it won't be especially on Fiverr or smaller sites. Be very careful of that. I know there's a lot of scammers out there. AI art, that's another big one. Um, I had been uh, messaged about this in the past about a model I purchased. I had no fucking clue as the art looked so good and the rigging was so good, I would have never been able to tell. But thank you for those who messaged me about it. I have no longer using that model and I will not use it again as I don't want to support that artist. I removed them from my credits as I no longer will be using that model as it's AI art. Be very careful because people are very sneaky and they are now using AI generated art to create models. And I won't lie, I'm going to speak a little bit about my experience in a little bit uh, with AI art. So that's not the only thing I will talk about uh, with that. But um, another thing to look at is um, verified reviews. Uh, there are sites out there, I'm not sure the exact names of them, but I know some of them are paid to make reviews. I know people do that to make it seem legit, so be very careful with that as well. Just be very, in general, just, I guess, careful of who you're commissioning. Do your research of who you're commissioning, uh, what art they've done in the past, verify it's their art, you know, just be very, very particular and careful with who you're commissioning, because, uh, scamming is honestly way too common, and it's really sad. Um, now with the whole AI art thing, I won't lie, when I began my VTubing journey. I didn't, when the AI was kind of coming along, I thought it was really interesting and I didn't really fully understand what it was. Um, but I know now and I no longer use AI generated art for anything and I, I don't uh, condone the use of it as I've learned over time with uh, how it can affect people. So I do apologize. I know people are really mad at me that I used it in the past, but at that time I was very uneducated on the whole AI art situation and I don't use it anymore. So I am really sorry for using it in the past and not understanding the the full reper rep <laughs> repercussions. Is, is that the right word? Re repercussions of how it affects artists as they steal artwork and generate it into these things I don't even know what you call it like these um robotic th I don't know what, what would you even call it generators that's the word I'm looking for they just throw it in there and then it steals parts of their artwork and I'm not cool with that um as someone who is just starting on their art journey, and I won't claim I'm good at it at all because I'm not. 
that's why I'm not very good at but I'm learning I'm trying you know I'm trying my best I uh I understand that fully as I've had my own art stolen plenty of times with like my model like I mentioned before so it can be very very harmful so I'm very sorry but um I now understand fully the repercussions of AI art and don't use it anymore as I know how harmful it is um and uh I know like I've <laughs> I had a complaint from someone. It was a little while back during, I don't even know what subathon it was that I did, um, over a program I used for cotton as the voice was AI. But I will give my consensus on this. That is created by someone to basically make your like VTuber pet come to life. Some people were not happy that it was AI voice uh generated like you could ask Khan a question and she'll reply with a AI generated response. People are very mad about it. I didn't really understand it personally and I might not be fully educated on that situation. So if anyone has any like information on it and why it would be considered bad, please do let me know. I don't see how it really is that bad if I'm being honest as it's just a voice. Uh, it's not like they stole it from an actual person. It's just like a robotic voice essentially that's literally all it is like when I do TTS same voices are available for this essentially so it's not like it's a famous person or a streamer or something that I'm taking their voice or whatever it was literally just the pet coming to life and for entertainment purposes it wasn't to sell anything or anything so I don't really understand the full repercussions so if you're wondering why cotton hasn't made an appearance that would be why as I'm still trying to fully understand it and I don't want to upset people so I want to educate myself a little bit more on the subject before um you know upsetting more people and continuing to use it um but again I am still learning myself over time about these issues but um yeah that's kind of my full consensus and something very important that I, I wanted to talk about. I know a lot of people are mad at me. A lot of people are upset with me. And I'm really sorry if you feel like I betrayed you or upset you in any way. I It's never my intention to. But um yeah. I want to say thank you guys for being here for my journey. Thank you for all the support that you guys continue to give me. I'm so proud of the community that I've built and that I continue to build. I support, I'm, I'm glad, I'm appreciating of the support that you guys give me for those who uh, show the extra support and, you know, those who donate or gift or, or donate bits or give uh, tips and all of that stuff. I really do appreciate it. Okay, this is something I do want to mention as well. I didn't really, I know it was like another topic that people weren't happy with me about um I called someone out in my community who's no longer part of my community um I I talked about this because I make patreon content which right now is mainly behind the scenes stuff you guys if you don't know I have a patreon I post a lot of behind the scenes content of everything I'm working on you guys get if you pay on patreon you guys get first look at everything happening all the music that I'm making uh, like album artwork commissions uh, you know things that others don't see uh, until much later so you uh, Patreons will get that content first as they are paying me to support me and I really do appreciate those who do. There was an issue um, kind of going on with that as well as I had um, some backlash as I would used to post a lot of NSFW stuff for Patreons only um, and I for a long time like identified as kind of like a not identified but like labeled myself as kind of like a lewd tuber. Um, I, I, um, I won't lie, like, I'm not say so. I won't lie. I make a lot of those comments, and I stopped producing NSFW content for a long time as it got out of control, as I got really scared for my safety, as I had people, uh, subscribing a lot at one point. You're not say so? Oh my god, imagine me being say, not say so? Oh my god, what? I'm not say so, what? <laughs> Um, but I, uh, for a long time was posting a lot of lewd content, but it got out of hand as I had some fans, um, posting 12 page love letters that weren't really love letters, but more like if I were to ever kidnap you, this is what I would do to you. Ugh. Yikes. 
So that was really fucking scary. Um, I got people constantly messaging me in DMs. Um, this is another issue that I want to bring up as well. I'm just trying to get all of it out on the table right now. Um, a comfy wolfie, oh my god. Yeah, that's kind of an ongoing joke. I thought that was hilarious. I label myself as a comfy wolfie. <laughs> Spelling was intentional. <laughs> but, um, I stopped producing NSFW content for a reason. As people were getting way too parasocial with it. I uh, I appreciate it when you guys message me on like other platforms and I understand like some people have even admitted to me that they message me on Discord and they're afraid to. They've even said, is it okay for me to DM you? Like, <laughs> um, I, I was confused when I got that message and I replied, um, yeah, of course it is. Like, why would it not be okay? They go, oh, well, I just didn't think you wanted to engage with your community. So I was just asking. What? <laughs> this, again, puzzled me as I'm, this is you guys. I'm only here for you guys. So I'm only here because of you guys. I would not be here without you guys. I wouldn't be doing what I do without you guys, you know? So I was very confused by this statement. And I said, yeah, I'm totally fine if you guys message me. Just don't be weird or creepy. You know, just don't message me a million times. And if I don't reply right away, don't spam me with a million more messages. I'll get back to you when I can. Um, just don't be weird or like sauce or anything or too overly lewd or uncomfortable. And I'll reply to you. And I said, I had asked them, hey, I have a question like, is there any particular reason that made you think I wouldn't want to interact with you? Like, did I seem, like, scary to you? Did I seem like I wasn't approachable? If I did, I am so sorry, because that's never my intention. And they replied, yeah, well, you're kind of a bigger streamer. And I'm like, <laughs> it kind of made me laugh, but I was like, bigger streamer? What are you talking about? Like, I'm not, I'm like, I'm a noob. What are you talking about? Like, I'm not, I don't ever consider myself a big streamer, but thank you, I guess. Um... But I was generally confused by their statement. And uh, this person has, uh, again, got weird with me. Uh, that's why I have essentially blocked them. Uh, listen, if I don't reply after two messages that you send, give me time. I'm probably busy doing something or I'm streaming. Um, there have been many cases of this over the time. Uh, people I've had a banned from my community because they got too far as uh saying because you didn't reply to me i shall now punish you on stream and embarrass you and put you in a box of shame for not answering me i was streaming i'm not gonna answer you when i'm streaming but like it got out of control with the the parasocialness and to the point where they were basically asking for free nsfw content which is a huge part why i stopped making it because it got too far with the parasocialness, with a threat to my own safety, even whether it was intentional or not, with this quote-unquote love letter that was more of a, if I ever kidnapped you, this is what I would do to you letter. That's fucking horrifying. Don't do that. That's fucking horrifying. You don't do shit like that. Like, I feel like there's a lack of like people's awareness of what like how how far is too far you know I feel like these people just don't understand but like yeah um try my best I know people aren't happy that I like I don't always get around to answering people and people say I'm <laughs> that's one of my red flags okay so be it I have a life I have busy shit to do you know I'm I, I'm literally like trying to figure things out right now like I get it I might not always reply to everyone, and I apologize for anyone who never got an answer or a DM back. I try my best. Uh, <laughs> I made a, I, I literally put an innocent post of, like, how I decorated my phone all cute. So it goes, damn, those Discord notifications. And I'm like, mm. yeah. Uh, but essentially, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I Again, I'm sometimes I get really overwhelmed a lot of the time when I receive, like, a lot of DMs. And I see, the, like, thousands of notifications from Discord, whether it be DMs or servers or whatever. It can be really, like, stressful and overwhelming. So sometimes, even if I get a DM and I'm, like, in a bad mental place and I, I don't want to respond, like, hastily and come across as 
uh, rude or saying something bad or upsetting someone. So I usually wait until I'm in a better, better mental place. And sometimes I forget. Like, I'm human. Like, a lot of people forget that, too. There's a person behind all of this. Hi, I'm a human. I'm not an AI. I'm a person behind this model. While I look like a cute anime crackhead waifu on the internet, I'm still a person behind this. And a lot of people seem to forget that I'm a person. And it can be, like, tough sometimes, you know? Yeah, I try to, like, be in the right mental space when I, like, reply to the DMs because I don't want it to be out of context or seem like I'm taking anger off of a situation I'm going through on someone else and that's occurred in the past and I feel bad I've apologized to those people but you know that situation I won't get into guys again so much thank you for everything thank you for the support I'll see you all again soon thank you thank you thank you Mwah!